Hello and welcome. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. This is Rajat here from Startup Frat. Thanks and congrats for crossing 20,000 members ever since we started on April 28, 2020. So, what is it? Six or eight, eight months, eight or nine months, 20,000 members. Thank you, thank you very much. And hooray to everybody who has been an active part of the community, been liking, commenting, sharing. You know, you've been part of the community, you've interacted, shared, you've been part of the different uh, open programs, you've been part of the academy programs. Thank you, thank you very much. So the reason this community was created was in the middle of the lockdown, uh, I didn't have any of my corporate clients, uh, you know, bugging me all day long and I was sitting at home free. So I just started giving out a bunch of videos as a way of, uh, you know, sharing my knowledge with people who had been sending me emails saying, how can you help me? How can you help me? And I'd never ever responded to those emails because, you know, at that point I said, you know, maybe they can't afford my services. I'm mainly a corporate guy, etc. And then I started, you know, giving out this, this, uh, these videos as a form of just expressing my creativity, sharing my knowledge and it's become a great community. Now, I will stay committed. Uh, you know, the reason it's become this big is because I do stay committed in spite of after the lockdown and all of that. Uh, I do stay committed to sharing the knowledge because, uh, like I told you before in many other videos, it's been an emotional reason when I was quitting my job in a hospital and trying to learn the reason I, 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 the reason I realized I need to learn sales and marketing is because I did not know how to get patients. <laughs> yeah. So I got all the best education. I got a good medical degree and everything. I didn't know how to get patients. And somebody said, well, you got to learn some sales and marketing skill. And once I learned that, I realized, you know, I, I don't need to, <laughs> I don't need to sit in a clinic by myself because once you learn that skill, you can apply it to any market. Right. And then Getting this knowledge was very, very difficult. I used to live, I still live in a small town, uh, you know, in Pune, which is not, actually not no longer a small town and nothing used to happen in Pune, like nothing used to happen in Pune. So if you wanted to attend, there was, the internet was not this advanced and if you wanted to attend a good seminar or go to listen to a good speaker or find a good consultant, even to get an initial consultation, you had to take a bus and go all the way to Bombay. Okay, <laughs> you had to take a bus, go all the way to Bombay. It was expensive because I didn't have much money. And then my mentor at that time said, unless you invest in your learning, uh, you know, all the money in the world comes from learning and knowing. Yeah, knowing the market, knowing what's happening, what's going on. The WGO formula, what's going on? Okay, so one of the uh, reasons very close to my heart is that uh, you know uh, that that I don't want to make information a barrier for anyone's success. So you will always get the best information from me. And I know before I go on that people have been sending me emails, especially a couple of queries came in from restaurant owners. I've already sent you an email saying I'm a couple of de days delayed, but today I'm going to give you a special video. So we'll hopefully solve your problem before you get my email response. Okay. So I, I, I do stay committed to that cause. And uh, if you see that uh, the 20,000 people in this community, less than maybe three or 400 are part of our academy programs, which are some more advanced programs where you can get to work closely with me and everything. But uh, you know, it is my commitment that we will keep this community running. A lot of uh, different people are getting involved in the actual creative part of, you know, doing more and more things. Uh, so we will talk a little bit about that today. Okay, so stay tuned, get your pens, pads, papers and pencils. And I have two very, 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 very special gifts for you at the end of this video. Okay, at the end of this video. So what is the process going to be? I'm going to give you two very special gifts. Okay, then in the month that is going to follow from now till maybe about we hit about 25,000 people. I've done the run rate and all the run rate is pretty good. So <laughs> maybe we will hit 25,000 people between now and this point. I have committed that I will give you at least training worth at least a lakh of rupees, if not more. So if you've gone to MBA school and if you spent two, two lakh rupees or three lakh rupees in your MBA education, you'll probably get equal or better amount of education over here in the next one month if you stay tuned. Okay. And you'll probably write me an email and say, man, this information was worth more than a lakh of rupees. Okay. And much of this information comes from paid programs, academy programs, and my corporate consulting where I charge by the hour. <laughs> okay. But, but that's fine. That's fine. For Okay, there's your big congrats, congrats and thank you. Uh, thank you for that once again from the bottom of my heart. Okay, now uh, let's get started. First of all, I'll give you a solid training today. Okay, solid training today. 
Uh, so if you're if you're a restaurant owner and you're saying, okay, I'm a restaurant owner or a cloud kitchen owner, you know, uh, what what do I need to do? Okay, what do I need to do? Remember, it's a demand supply situation. At the end of the day, if you can break down every little thing into a demand supply situation, you will understand what you need to do. Now, this what you need to do. Let me find a duster. Yeah. <laughs> now, what you need to do is you need to understand the demand supply situation because once you understand that, it may not help you get you know like your million dollar your profitable market right now or anything but if you keep focusing on that you will get a lot of good ideas that will help you reposition over the long term let me show you some examples so now you are <clears throat> you are a restaurant owner okay and you have something called demand okay and then you have something called supply okay demand and supply on a fulcrum supply okay in a global market in a global market you got to have your own little market or your own span of customers who in your particular product line nobody else can supply but you okay there is only space for number 1 there is no space for number 2 there is only space for number 1 okay so what is the demand supply situation looking like in the old times if you had a restaurant you were either a chinese restaurant or a general multi cuisine restaurant or a you know like a cloud kitchen that would give out tandoori chicken and starters to people who are drinking whiskey on the weekday weekends or something right and then the span was limited you would get all the orders from people in that area because they have you know only so many restaurants and you know you have only so many customers so you have a demand supply situation where you have some other people who are supplying and then you have got all this demand market okay you you got all this demand market now what is happening is there is two kinds of competition first of all restaurants even on a smaller scale it's easier and easier to set them up you can set them up as cloud kitchens or whatever it is it's becoming easier and easier to set up restaurants which is why there has been an explosion in the supply now the supply is like hundreds of people in your area okay there are restaurants in my town in pune there are restaurants that run out of literally one kitchen and four seats like a cafe outside or something and they deliver half of their stuff so swiggy and everything okay which brings me to the other point okay swiggy 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 is the worst form of competition because either you are in the swiggy platform where you are competing with hundreds of others of their members of the whatever the, the suppliers that are there and if you're out of the swiggy platform you're competing against swiggy themselves right so it's the worst aggregators are the worst kind of competition and aggregators are here to stay and all of that stuff right so that's cool so you have competition the second thing is your demand demand is going down because people are careful about what kind of food you know they order how soon how frequently they go out which is reducing because the government restrictions and things like that and then you've got things like uh, um you know there is way too much choice so you don't show up like there's way too much choice it's like going to netflix it takes 30 minutes just to figure out what you want to watch so you know people don't even go to netflix anymore like the newer and newer uh, content engines are coming up and they're hyper specialized if you want to watch hindi stuff it's better to go to like z or something like the sony live or something if you want to watch a particular kind of some other content go to somewhere else youtube is getting so crowded it's so difficult to search for stuff that people are going to patreon and happily paying two dollars a month just to find exactly the right content that they want to watch the wastage of time in figuring out whom to do business with is costing you literally all of your customer attention which basically means that a confused customer will not buy from anyone Confused customer will not buy from anyone. You could still get your business from Swiggy where people just open the thing and they figure out they want to buy, let's say, tandoori chicken. And if you are a tandoori chicken person, they'll buy from you. Maybe you'll get some business that way. But there is no growth. And there is no future in that business because you are controlled within. It's like having a class four government job, a <laughs> class four government job. The growth is not there. The prospects are not there. You're just basically stuck in that box and that's your entire life. So if, if that works for you, that's great. But if you want to get out of there, then what do you do? Okay, if you want to get out of there, then what do you do? There are three ways in which to make more money. There are three ways in which to make more money. There are three ways in which to make more money. The first is get more customers. The second is get these customers to pay more frequently. Okay, and the fifth way is figure out how they can pay you more and more per visit more and more per visit which is also called ticket size 
okay if an average meal for four costs three thousand rupees in your place now how do you figure out to sell something worth twenty thousand okay how do you figure out to sell something worth twenty thousand right so <clears throat> let me tell you a story and then i'll tell you three or three more factors in which you can probably help yourself okay let me just look at my notes real quick over here so what if I were to tell you that most people in the market, whether it's this type of competition or this type of competition, is going to go for this, okay? They're going to try to get more and more customer share from each other. It's a zero-sum game because today everybody is ordering the maximum amount of meals they can possibly order, you know, from outside. The market is not expanding. It is either static or contracting, okay? So this game is a zero-sum game and everybody else is playing this game, which is how to try to get customers from each other or whatever okay now there are two more markets which is how do you get customers to pay more uh, frequently and how do you how do you increase the ticket size the funny part is the restaurant business falls under the and usually targets the lowest customer segment okay the lowest customer segment what is that there are only three reasons that people buy the first reason is urgency okay urgency the second reason is utility and the third reason is emotion okay the first reason is urgency the second reason is utility and the third reason is emotion okay and the restaurant market okay only caters to this particular thing the urgency okay the urgency uh, what is urgency restaurants make most of their business from friday night to saturday night friday night saturday night friday night saturday night why there is an urgency in the customer who's coming out of office after five days of tired work. And then they say, how do I make sure that I make all this worth my while? I have one night or I have two nights and both those nights or one of those two nights, they will go out, drink a lot of beer, probably eat a lot of food outside or something, try to make as much, you know, just kind of help themselves out of this, this whole frustration of their job or whatever it is, right? So it's an urgency issue. And that's, that's the only two nights this like contributes to 60-70% of a restaurant's business, okay? Now with the arrival of cloud kitchens and these lunchbox items, the utility segment is also being targeted. What is the utility segment? If I'm an office goer and I can get lunch in my office via Swiggy for 200 bucks, then I don't really need to cook at home, right? So that's a utility market. It works all days of the week. And just the convenience level is so high that it, it kind of works. Now, Swiggy is already playing in that market. So how do you make it more, you know, unless you start your own Dabba circle or something, okay? You, 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 can, you can think of playing in that market. The third thing is emotion, okay? Very few people are able to play in this market, but this market is 1,000 times as big, 1,000 times as big as the urgency market, 1,000 times as big as the urgency market, okay? What is emotion? <clears throat> Have you ever seen how Salman Khan launches these movies? Yeah, the promo start four months earlier. Okay, and then the momentum builds up to an emotional frenzy where people are emotionally tied into the movie and they want to have it. Not only do they want to have it, they want to have it on day one. They want to have it on day one. Okay, that is emotion building. Okay, so very few people know how to harness this, this particular market. And this particular market is 1000 times 1000 times the size of this particular market okay just compare just compare your chemist downstairs near your society whatever your chemist is in the urgency business okay a hospital is in the urgency business where somebody just absolutely needs it they'll walk in they'll get it right they'll they'll walk in and they'll get it compare that to how insurance companies market health insurance or life insurance or something okay that's why they are that big why are they that big? Because they figured out how to tap a huge market, an emotional market, okay, in a fashion where they get paid, where they get paid. It's very difficult to tap that market, okay, but it's thousand times as big, okay. Insurance companies really make a lot of money as compared to your chemist or even as compared to any working hospital, okay. Insurance companies make a killing. Insurance is one of the most difficult things to sell. Okay, in the world of salesmen, if you're any sales or marketing professional, if you're any Xerox professionals out here, yeah, you would know that insurance is the world's most difficult market and insurance companies are constantly rehacking how to tie their product to emotion. 
okay you get thousand times the amount of sales but you got to figure out how to do it successfully you got to figure out how to do it successfully now i'll give you just one idea today and then tomorrow we'll have another longer training because i i, I really want to focus on the gifts today but i do want to give you the delivery of what was promised to you okay so <clears throat> emotion is very very important how do you tap into different 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 emotions okay so let's let me tell you a story so back in the days of the gold rush in the us yeah there is a series also on netflix called the west yeah the west which which shows this in some episodes gold was found in some river beds in california and everybody from the east coast of the us back in like the 1700 or something like that you know just dropped everything sold their lands and showed up for the gold rush which is trying to uh go with a small pan into the 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 river bed and try to find gold nuggets okay gold nuggets now <clears throat> this was a dangerous business because there was no police there was no government over there you pretty much went there you nobody knew each other everybody is finding gold and the day you found find a little bit of gold that day somebody is going to try to murder you to take it away from you <laughs> that day somebody is going to try to murder you to take it away from you okay 90% of the people in the gold rush actually never made any money because they always fought among themselves they were you know it was not a happy situation and the people who actually found gold sometimes it turned out that the amount of time that they had invested the amount of money that they had lost in only traveling from east coast to west coast over many months and wasting all that time to find gold the value of the gold did not pay for their trip back did not pay for whatever they had lost in the bargain okay uh, they did not uh, that you know that that they had lost in the bargain however the gold rush by itself that activity by itself was very very prosperous for the economy in general very prosperous for the economy in general okay so for example if somebody showed up in the train okay from the east coast and got down the first thing they would want to know is where is the gold to be found okay like where is the place where I actually go and look for it so you had to basically there were these guides and all who would charge a small fee and they would take you to that place then there was premium information which is where is it that the last gold nugget was found yesterday yeah because everywhere that gold was found a month back you know that information is useless cuz there's thousand people already in there right so where was the gold found yesterday that's the most premium information those people would charge 10 times as much as your regular guide okay and then before you went to actually dig for the gold before you actually went to dig for the gold what would happen is that you would need somebody would show up and say are you going to get on your knees in those pants those trousers of yours because once you go into the river bed those pants are going to get screwed over man they are going to get torn and everything yeah so what did you need you need trousers made out of tarpaulin like material which later became the denim jeans yeah so they would sell you that yeah and then somebody would say hey are you going to use that little pant to to pan for gold no you got to use these materials which are going to you know help you get get the to get to the gold faster and then they said okay so you know those were also chargeable services okay so what happens is that if you're playing in a market that is over competitive and dead you got to figure out an enablement market you got to figure out an enablement market and then what you got to do is you got to enable the other people who are want to play in that market and have decided that I want to play in that market okay and that's where the chances of your prosperity are what is the second thing there are already you have you have tools built into your business you have results built into your business you have a certain way of working that is very very useful to an end customer okay in a setting different from your business setting in a setting different from your business setting let me give you an example when you set up a restaurant don't you set up the interiors don't you set up the ambience to make it very very attractive okay is that service not useful to somebody who wants to throw a big themed party for their kids birthday or they're calling all of their relatives over for some big get together yeah wouldn't they want to throw a good themed party people who love food isn't a certain percentage of them who want to figure out how this food is made in restaurants how this food is made in restaurants and let me ask you this question you've invested all your money in assets that are costing you money that are costing you to maintain them from monday through thursday monday through thursday okay and that one product that you're selling which is the food or whatever it is is not making money okay that real estate can make the money for you your knowledge your staff your hardware all of that can make money for you the people who want to learn how this stuff is done in restaurants so they can make that stuff at home are willing to pay you for that learning and not only that 
the people who otherwise competed with you if you just go out to enable them if you just create an enablement service for other restaurant owners you would go into a market which has only demand you created an only you converted an only supply market into an only demand market where you my friend are going to be the only player now before you ask me before you ask me i know the question that's going on in your mind is yeah yeah all these are ideas are fine all these ideas are fine but how do you know this is going to work how do you know this is going to work okay now i could give you case studies i could give you examples and testimonies and all of that but i won't give you any of those because the 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 hard fact of the matter is this that because nobody is supplying that market you are bound to win and the second big thing is there is nothing to lose by doing it and everything to lose by not doing it everything to lose by not doing it yeah that is going to be the theme of this year <laughs> 2021 yeah imagine if you didn't die like your business didn't die you okay did covid make it more powerful or stronger okay how can you know they say in english right if it doesn't kill you it'll make you stronger yeah so if covid didn't kill your business is there any little way that it has made it stronger and if not you got to really introspect and figure out what it is you need to do in order to make sure that covid makes your business stronger because staying in a static market and competing for scraps like those people who are fighting for gold and killing each other is not the way to live my friend it is going to be the market of innovation and enablement and if you want to decide how if you want to find out how this game is going to be played then just hang on write in your comments below if there was there were any doubts questions what were your takeaways etc and wait for another video training that i'm going to come up with tomorrow okay because right now i can't talk more than this i can't talk more than this because i got to go into you know go into the gifts for today all right so just if you are a restaurant owner or a small business person if there are any doubts questions i don't think this thing works yeah or what were your takeaways i think this thing works these were my takeaways just write them in the comments column okay and i have two very special gifts to kick off this festive season yeah it's a festive season 20k season okay what are the gifts <clears throat> we are running something called the 6 am club which is an academy level program where uh, we get together we we write our goals it's a 15 minute meeting every morning but within 21 days of running it in december like six people were able to launch their product lines okay six people were able to launch their product lines so it's a pretty tight meeting and everything and it's 15 minutes it, there's not a whole lot of content or gyan or anything like that everybody gets together everybody pretty much writes their goals there's a little bit of uh, uh, there's a little bit of gratitude all of a little bit of note checking with each other how's everybody's thing going etc and just that little activity right at 6 am in the morning has created life altering change in the minds and the businesses of the people that are involved myself included myself included all right so <clears throat> so access to the 6 am club facebook group okay so 6 am club happens on zoom it's streamed on facebook access to that facebook group is 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 restricted to a few people and you know there's a fee associated with it which is a minimum which is a nominal 150 bucks a month however the community after seeing all the benefits etc has decided that this cycle january cycle for 21 days you know for this january season of the 6 am club there's going to be no fees and this is what the community the the academy program members have decided and i'm here to serve you <laughs> you know what they have decided so a bunch of academy program members will actually be leading this uh, january season of the 6 am club that's 21 days starting tomorrow you and i are going to be getting together if you so choose at 6 am in the morning in that facebook group is going to be live okay i'm going to be there you're going to be there if you want to join in um you know then i have something coming up for you that's gift number 1 okay that's gift number 1 the second thing is <clears throat> that over a, over the period of last 6 uh, months or 8 months you know zoom has emerged zoom has emerged as the number one player in all kinds of video production video transmission video communication with one on one calls or webinars or group calls or even people who want to do recorded stuff you know if you're in a profession uh like you're in teaching or something which now requires you to record your lessons and this requires visual aid you want to share your powerpoint mind map do some calculations on an excel sheet while you're recording the session and everything all of these features literally 99% of these features are free inside zoom okay so what i've done is i've created a 50 minute like almost an hour long zoom training okay zoom training so once one you have the 6 am club okay and then you have an hour long zoom training okay that you can get free access for there is no fees for it today or ever 
Okay, now this is also part of an academy uh, academy program called Video Production Mastery. But I've created a brand new spiffy one hour long training where I go into my Zoom panel and I show you every little thing that I have done with Zoom, with all the hardware and everything in the last six, seven months producing these videos and things like that. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and thus growing the community and everything. Now, of course, this particular type of video is being recorded on a camera phone. Okay, but if you want to do visual aid, you want to share PowerPoint, you want to share mind maps, do Excel sheet recordings, you want to do webinars and things like that. Okay, everything that I've done, including the headphone gear, etc., that I've used in the last six, seven months, pretty simple stuff. You know, I've recorded in this one hour long training. I want to give you free access to this training. This is, I checked up on the internet, very few trainings. I think you won't be able to find any training like this so detailed. All right, so I want to give you free access to it. And if this interests you, what I would like you to do is head over to startupfrat.club forward slash zoom. Okay, so it's startupfrat.club forward slash zoom. Never mind the handwriting, I'll put a ticker on top of it. <laughs> startupfrat.club forward slash zoom. Okay, now I just want to warn you, okay, we are going into uh, a double opt-in as a default, which means you put in your email, there's an email that shows up in your account which says your confirmation is required. You got to hit that link in order to get access to your training. Okay, sorry about the two-step process, but we have decided to go with the highest security standard. We, we love your privacy uh, and I want to protect your privacy because every time you ask, access something in my system, you're basically your computer is leaving traces, cookies, you're leaving your email, phone number, etc. in there. So what I want to do is, uh, I you know, we have gone to a double opt-in, which means we, we do this whole security thing. Where you put in your email, you get a get a message saying please confirm your uh, you know please confirm your details you hit the link in there and then you get your training okay so sorry about that but again i've worked hard on creating this training for you so if you do want to access it okay then you can have it for free it's uh, startupfrat.club forward slash zoom it's a one hour super solid training okay i won't put a uh, you know price tag to it because it's not a fully paid product it's part of a larger paid product called video production mastery okay uh, and you get access to the 6 a.m. club. Once you do the start of Rattle Club for slash Zoom, all of this information will be sent to you. It's a two-in-one package. Take it all. Okay. I hope you like this training. Let me know what you thought in the comments box, etc. And watch out for the training tomorrow. I'll see you. Bye-bye.